assalamu alaikum friends i hope you are doing great today i am back with an incredible incredible upgrade to one of my most popular project introducing an xrc pro a high performance open source rc transmitter and receiver built with stm32 and an rf24 l01 in this video i'll guide you the entire process of building the xrc pro transmitter and receiver like how i built it and how you can build this so please watch the video at the end at its end so let's get started
power on the transmitter. This is our main screen. In the main screen we can see our battery percentage, signal strength. Now let's enter the menu. Long press to enter the menu. First menu is used for channel tuning. Here you can tune, tune your all channels. Escape. Well, click on channel invert. Boat, car, etc. In the output setup, there are three options. PPM, PC, wireless or TX power. PPM PC when we enable this option we can play a simulator in the PC through its PPM output and wireless we can once we off this option it's off the NF24 L01 and we cannot use it with receiver in TX power we can adjust the power of NRF24 L01 like 75 or 50 in about section we can see the name of our model like his XRC Pro its version 2.4 and made by, by Mr. S and Kazi. In general setting, first option we see tune setting. In wall setting, here we can uh, calibrate our uh, battery voltages of our transmitter. I have already calibrated it. Clock setup, here you can enable the clock mode, alarm time, etc. In throttle setup, we can easily switch from left to right throttle mode. Through this option, we can calibrate our sticks. Click OK. Center the sticks. Now click on OK. Move the sticks in all direction. Now our sticks are fully calibrated. The, here is a restore option. Once you have click on this option, all the setting will go to default. Now everything is perfectly alright. Now we goes back to channel mapping. Here our sticks are fully calibrated and each channel are working perfectly. We will test it with the receiver in a moment. I have power on the transmitter, so let's connect the battery to test it. PWM receiver. Here's another thing like when the receiver is connected, you hear the beep of transmitter twice. Here you can see, and the signals are fully popped up. Once again, now we test our transmitter with the receiver. Here you can see. The transmitter is working very perfectly and smoothly. 
its throttle let's connect with another channel all the channels are working perfectly there is no delay in this we can trim through here We will test S bus and PPM receiver in a moment. I have connected the PPM receiver with the flight controller and we are testing its signals in clean flight. Here you can see the flight uh, the receiver is now PPM RX input. Let's go to receiver tab. Here's our signals are working very perfectly. Here you can see all the channels are working very smoothly without any delay. Now we will test the S bus signal. Now I have connected the S bus receiver with the flight controller. Here you can see the receiver section there is S bus signal. Now go back to receiver tab. Here you can see all the channels are working very smoothly without any delay. And that wraps up our build and testing for the XRC Pro. We have seen it in both. We have seen it in action with both the PWM receiver and the PPM S bus receiver. And its performance is incredibly smooth without any delay. This open source transmitter really showed that you can create something affordable and cheap with commercial grade functionalities. For all of, I appreciate all of you for following along, and I hope this project inspires you to dive into the world of die builds. If you remember, the XRC Pro is open source transmitter and receivers. So feel free to, custom, to do any type of customization and modification you want. If you find this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and also leave your loveliest thoughts in the comments below. I hope. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.